I'm joined by trainer Danny Gargan. He has two horses in this year's Kentucky Derby. First of all, Danny, tell me a little bit about what's been going through your mind the last couple of weeks as you manage two horses in our biggest race of the year. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, actually. Uh, I don't really get stressed out. So uh, about 10 minutes before the race, I get nervous, five minutes. Uh, so it's been a lot of fun. And, you know, to have two, it's the same as having one, I guess. Uh, we're just lucky enough we're, you know, two of them qualified to get the points. And uh, hopefully uh, everything's great tomorrow and uh, we still have two runners. But they cooled out really well today and worked really good. So uh, every day is a different day. So we're just hoping and blessed that we're here. Doorknock and Society Man and Company today. Doorknock along the inside. What were you hoping for as this was their final breeze? Well, the track's playing really fast today, so we knew from some works earlier in the day that the track was fast. I told them to go 47, 47 and change. Uh, I actually got them in 46 and 4. Uh, Dave Grennan was with me. He had them 47 flat. Uh, the clockers here, I think, got them a little bit faster, but uh, they did it in hand and looked good doing it. Uh, they galloped out nice, 59 and change, and then out three quarters and 12 and change, which is kind of the standard work right now. Everybody's basically doing the same work. Uh, everybody's going 59 and change out and 12 and change or 13. So uh, we're all, you know, trying to basically, uh, we're not reinventing the wheel. We're all basically doing the same thing, and we're just trying to hopefully get a hold of the track on race day. I've been watching them train in the mornings just from home and on the on the shows, but when I came here, Dornock has such a presence about him. You can't help but watch him when he's on the racetrack. Has he always been that way, just so commanding? Yeah, I put my foot in my mouth. when uh, Before he ever ran, I told everybody he's the best horse I ever trained because of that. I mean, when you see him training, it's pretty – I mean, he's, he's a beautiful horse. And uh, I think that everybody on the backside is a little buzz about how good he looks training. And uh, he's a big, pretty horse and does everything effort, you know, with very little effort. And uh, he is fun to watch train, and uh, he's a, I mean, it's amazing, a pleasure to have, and uh, I mean, we're, we've been excited about him all along, and uh, I kind of got excited about Society Man uh, going into the Remsen, he was the workmate for Doorknock, and that's when uh, he came back from being gelded, because he was a little bit honorary as a baby, and I sent him home to be gelded uh, to Gary Gullo's farm, GMP has a beautiful farm in Saratoga, so I sent him home, and they gelded him for me, and uh, started him back and then he was working with door knock for the Remsen and I, that's when I decided this horse might be somewhere in the spring so let's give him a chance and I ran him as a maiden in the withers and he kind of had a rough trip and got just didn't eliminate it early and just had no chance to do anything and uh, he came out of that race and broke his maiden impressively and we took another shot and he ran big in the woods so uh it's gonna be a lot of fun for everybody involved and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to have Frankie here <laughs> That's what everybody's talking about. <laughs> When's is. Frankie coming to town? So I um, uh, don't know exactly what day he's coming, but uh, everybody will be, will be knowing soon. Last question, that video of the West Paces group watching Society Man when he did finish second in the wood, it was as if they won. How just through the roof are they feeling with having two horses in this Kentucky Derby? Uh, they're really excited. Uh, you know, it's big. I mean, you know, they're a young syndicate, and uh, so – big partnership and a lot of guys and uh it's uh larry's over the moon you know it's hard to even you know fab and having one much less two it helped him with the seats i don't know the walkovers he needed all that you know but uh yeah he's really excited he gets here today he flies in today he's coming for the draw staying all week uh keith mason i think he's he'll be here for the draw so they're, they're really excited and uh it's a good thing for them and uh hopefully that they, uh, they keep coming in the future they're wonderful people you've done a good job good luck thank you Danny Gargan, two horses in this year's Kentucky Derby, door knock the full brother to last year's winner, Mage and Society Man.